What's up guys and welcome back to our fun career mode episode number 16. Now as you see on the screen such an important game first off against QPR. They are first with one point above us which are we are in second. So I mean if we win we'll go two points above them. If we draw it'll stay the same and if we lose then um, we're even more points behind them really. But anyway I actually head the ball back to them here. And somehow they didn't score. I thought it was going to trickle over the line, but luckily it didn't. But anyway, we came back. Marshall, great ball by Vadillo to him. And he just bloody hits it to Green's hand. It was so easy for him. He could have hit it into bloody corners, idiot. Anyway, QPR now with their chance. Play the ball in. Good save from Lonergan. And Austin just comes back in and Lonergan gets up in time. Good play by uh, QPR and good saves by Lonergan. But anyway, it was our turn again. And same again. They just... Why don't they hit it or shoot to the corners? They just hit it. Both chances straight at green. And that's how they half ended. Quite even. Uh, both with similar chance, I would say. Their chances looked a bit more kind of daring. Like there's more going. But uh, that was it really for the first half. And as you see, we come close in the second half. And that was the game. Not the most exciting first three seconds you'll uh, ever see. But uh, it was tight and you can definitely see that we are the two best teams in the league. As we did draw 0 nil. Anyway, training now. Uh, as you see, uh, Grimmer and uh, Budak goes up a bit. And also we had back-to-back -back training because it was international break. And also, the second training, Rodak goes up to 66 Great by him, really uh, impressed. But anyway, second game of the episode, we are now playing third place Burnley at home. They are one point behind us at this stage, so I mean, I'll say draw, it'll just leave us the same. But I was hoping for the win, but it was actually them that uh, came on first. Uh, Lonergan punched the ball out here, and uh, luckily Barnes just hit it into the side net. Which was uh, quite lucky for me, really, because I thought it was going to just blast that one past Lonergan. But anyway, we came uh, attacking in the 22nd minute, and uh, somehow Heaton saves his shot from Lonergan. But anyway, look at this, guys. Look at that. What is Lonergan doing? You know, I ain't really been impressed with Lonergan recently. I think he's been letting in too many goals. And a lot of them goals he's been beating at his near post. And also... Ah, oh, it was just it was just so frustrating this goal. I mean, we were playing well, and he goes and does that. It, as you see in the highlights, it was in no man's land. There was no point coming out for that ball. He wasn't going to get it. And even if he did come out for the ball, he didn't even attempt to get it. But that was it for the first half. There was one nil up, and also, as you see, pretty late on in the second half, this was actually the first chance. This game was so boring and hardly any chances. It just shows you that. I hate playing the top teams because you just don't seem to score many. I mean, sometimes you get lucky, like with the whole City game where we do 3-3. Free free, but as you see, from their chance, we come, counter-attack, Byram to Williams. Boom. Bottom corner, past Heaton. He scores in like one of the last kicks of the game. Great goal by the youngster. Oh, I was, I was buzzing off this, you know. I was so, like, frustrating myself because I couldn't just break the defence down. But late in the half, Byron does well to cut in on his weaker foot, plays it to Williams, and he hits it bottom corner. Great hit. That's only his second goal in the league, which is so surprising. But I don't care. It's an important goal. The f or also, the referee blows a full-time whistle. We get a draw. You know, when you score late goals like that, it just feels like a win, you know. But anyway, I'm glad we got the draw because, to be fair, if we'd have lost, I'd have been pissed. But anyway, last game of the episode, away to Huddersfield. I think we beat um 5-1 last time at home. So I was going into it definitely thinking we should definitely win this game, basically. And I actually played our strongest side, uh, even if some of them haven't been performing. Because I thought, you never know, against a, a weak side like Huddersfield, they could maybe... Uh, have a good game and get the morale up. But anyway, I decided to play Rodak in this game because, like I said, Lonergan wasn't playing well. I, I didn't like what he's been doing lately. And he pulls off a great save there. And then out of the corner, we counter-attack. 
Son Longa fires it past the goalie and uh, makes it 1-0 to us. So really, it all started from Rodak pulling off that brilliant save. Because to be fair, guys, I don't think Lonergan would have made it because I've seen them chances with Lonergan before and he's just let him in. So well played to Rodak. Also, another praise to Rodak is he's actually six foot five, which is such a plus for a goalkeeper. If you're that big, you can just pluck the balls out of the air like there's nothing. Anyway, they had their next chance in the 15th minute. I mean, my players decided to block each other, and they fired it up at bar, and then this free kick, a good save by Rudak, and then the, the bloody purse. So, definitely pile on pressure. You know, I actually underestimated them, to be fair, this field, because I thought I was going to easy sweep them, like we did last time, but they was actually creating some good chances. So, I was quite surprised, and I thought I was quite lucky to go 1-0 up into the half-time break. But anyway, we came back, 47th minute, Gray comes in, and good goal by him. Uh, you know, it's one of them goals where they hit it, kind of lean in. So obviously it kind of goes, swerves into the top corner. It looks quite good, to be fair. And uh, yeah, he, he did well. Uh, he and He's not the best of players, I've got to say. Great finishing, but he finishes that one well. And as you see, obviously he ain't the best because he's only got his fourth goal of the season and he's nearly played every game. But anyway, 54th minute, we came down with a Samba longer. He cuts inside, uh, Duke's the defender, they have a bit of a, uh, a messy thing going on and McCormack put it up at bloody bad, the idiot. What's he doing? How did he not score that? But anyway, we came down the right, you know, with uh, Vidillo this time, not a Samba longer. He cuts inside, good ball to McCormack in the middle and uh, there should only be one winner there and that's McCormack. I mean, it was quite uh, similar to the last chance, but... Uh, Good for him he's put this in because if he didn't, God, he'd been on bench straight away. I uh, see. Great play by Vadilla. Great run by McCormack. And now McCormack is actually stacking up on goals, which is great. He's actually nearly caught to Vadilla, which is so surprising. But uh, we had one more chance in the game. Again, I don't know how we didn't score this. It was so, like, unlucky. But they clear it, and then the referee blows a full time whistle. We win the game 3 0. Good win. Again, I don't think we've lost in like 10 games, so we're on such good form. Don't, not counting the FA Cup, I mean in the league. And again, Rodak goes up to 67, which is absolutely fantastic. I mean, his growth is so good. I think I only started training him around uh, end of October into November. So to say he started at 58 rated and he's now 67 is actually fantastic. He's gone up about t nine ratings in like two or three months and he's, so he's doing really well and he's going to be definitely our future goalkeeper I can see that happening now but anyway guys hope you enjoyed the episode if you have please hit the like button subscribe if you are new and guys I'll be seeing you later peace